creative to save money. Not kidding around. <laughs> These goats take the place of mowers along Council Bluffs Riverfront. This is the first time for the partnership. And as KETV News Watch 7's Waverly Monroe reports, these goats are star employees. About 60 of these hungry goats are here on this four acre patch at Tom Hannafin Park. Now the owner tells me that they will clear about an acre in a week. They're not your usual city employees, but they are determined and hungry to get the job done. Already that vegetation up on the hill and in front of us is is down. Uh, so this was about 18 inches to two feet tall right in front of us. Council Bluffs Parks and Rec Director Vincent Mortarello says these overgrown areas are not on the city's regular maintenance schedule. In this particular area, the ground is uneven and there's a lot of fallen logs and underbrush, which makes it even more difficult. So in looking for cost effective ways to take care of this, the conversation naturally led to goats. So goats really love woody brush. So like they love really kind of junk trees, like, you know, kind of hackberry trees. This is Matt Vermeersh's herd. He works under the umbrella company Goats on the Go, providing environmentally safe ways to clear brush. Vermeersh says the goats can go where machinery cannot. It takes out probably the most difficult part of this aspect and making it accessible. Last year, the city got a hefty grant from the DNR to clear up another area, but Mortarello says the goats help keep the operations budget down. A couple piece of heavy equipment, a uh, number of contractors, and that was upwards $90,000 for 16 acres. This is a uh, cost comparison per acre. This is going to be about maybe three to 4,000. Since this is such a sight to see, you're actually encouraged to come down and take a peek, though, just be careful. Careful, the fence is electric. Waverly Monroe, KETV, Newswatch 7.